Okay, so let's talk about common calc script functions. First calc script is at is member. What at is member does is it returns a it returns as a true statement if member matches specified members. The syntax is app is member, and then you type in your member name. You can also use a comma delimited uh, list, which you type in your member name, and then you use a comma, and then you type in another member name. All these member names must be put inside of double quotes. Uh, you can also use a range, which uses a semicolon. Our second function is at MD shift. So what at MD shift does is it shifts a series of data values across multiple dimen dimension ranges. The syntax is member name, comma, shift count, comma, dimension name. So what the shift count does is it shifts that specific dimension a certain amount of cells, the specified amount of cells. So you can shift it one cell forward, two cells forward, or you can shift it backwards with negative one or negative two. Now the range, that's optional. Um, that's the range for the dimension. And then you can keep going with multiple different dimensions. So you can do another shift to count and then another dimension after that. Now we have at prior. At prior returns the nth previous cell member from member name and it uses the level zero members from the dimension tag this time. So it, at, if we use at prior, the syntax would be member name and then you'd have the n, which is optional. All The n and x range list is, are both optional and the n is the amount of cells that it'll be shifting. So if you use a positive number, it'll shift to, it'll shift backwards because it's at prior, but if you use a negative number, it'll simulate the same thing as at next, which is another function. And what it does is it goes forward. Um, and then X range list, list specifies a sequential range of members that you can use. So you can use multiple different members. So, now let's look at some examples. One example of this. So if we had a scenario in which we would like to pull the, say, the labor expense from the prior month of a, a sheet of a, of a statement, we would use a, a code something like this. So what we're saying here is if at is member, so at this member, January, oh, at this member, January, if it matches, then MD shift account one minus one year. So what this is saying is at the member name account one, shift one, negative one for the dimension year and shift 11 forward for the dimension period. So what this is saying is if it's January, then go back a whole year and shift forward 11 periods. And if it's not January, then we can just do at prior at account one. So we can just say account one in this because it's looking at the time delimited uh, level zero members. So go for all the times and it'll just shift one month before. But in this case, since it is January, it won't shift one month. It has to shift a whole year forward or backwards and then go forward 11 months. That's what it's, that's what this MD shift is for. And then we end if, and then we close off our if statement. So that's an example of using those three different functions.